this is Zodok Leader 635 and what you guys are looking at are my two new robots that I bought uh, today. They were kind of pricey but basically I consider one of them as a completely new robot because I have never seen it before and that one is the Lightbringer robot. So first of all we're going to start by the easiest one and then we're going to get to the um, to the most complex one and actually believe it or not this one was the the priciest out of both which is kind of it's only because of the box believe it or not the robot does less so yeah okay so here's uh, the Universal Fighter 4 made by Fingyun Toys and this might be the new generation of course of the robots because of the um, if you guys see down here, it says tested according to international standards. That means that the robot is a new generation of of toys from I don't know, maybe 2012, 2000, 2013. That's the it's the time when I started looking at that sign everywhere. So, believe it or not, this one actually does not have it anywhere. Don't see any place where it could have it. So I don't know what happened with this one. This one might be older or something. But yeah, so we're gonna start taking off the box. Basically, I already untaped it, so he's not sealed. And uh, no, I don't know if it's actually necessary to see the box, even though the instructions are stupid, like that the head can shake, flashing light, his head can shake. Uh, with flashing light, I don't know, honestly. So yeah, he's the robot. He uses two AA batteries and, um, of course, no batteries. God damn it! Don't you hate it when they don't come with batteries, even though they are sealed and like ne never used? God damn it! Looks decent. Even though I heard from one of my friends that this one should come with a with a tray for the feet. So yeah, before turning them on, of course, I have to put everything in place. Wait, so I'm just kind of loose. There we go. Well, he sounds. He sounds pretty quiet. Actually, the stickers are not the stickers are not glued in all the way. Hmm. Well, yeah, this is what you get these days about Fingyun, You know, you never get them as you got them before. Actually, look, I I'm actually peeling the sticker off so that I can reposition it a lot better than what it was. But the bad thing about this robot is that they did, they were better back then. Because I know for a fact that there's first generation and second generation of this toys. The first generation, if anybody wants to know if anybody still has one left from their childhood or something, the first generations are the ones that have. Let me see if the box actually displays it. Yeah, because the pictures from from one of one of the first gens. You should have the uh, small thing there in the gun, the new ones don't, because of stupid toy safety shit, you know, those, because we all know that kids are retarded sometimes, and they can stick things in their mouth and in their butthole, so, basically, they fuck the toys up because of those idiot kids, so, yeah, um, it's pretty well now, and, uh, I think he did walk decently, I think. <laughs> Well, if anybody wants to know, it's very hard to find one that walks decently because most of this actually walk and one like does not go up and all and they end up doing this. Uh, of course, it's Fingyun and it's QC07 Certificate of Inspection. Whoa! I think this one's actually, yeah, I think this one's different. Like the feet are actually different. I could be wrong, but my other one, I think he actually had, like, made in China in both feet. 
Okay. And of course the things are black and my other one they're green, like turquoise green. So yeah, that's the unboxing on the first robot. It's pretty cool. And so far he's gonna be stacking well with my other Universal Fighter 4. If, if anybody was wondering, yes, I have another one, but it's broken as fuck. Until the point he does not walk and he does not move the head. Like, literal, he does not walk. He walks like shit. So yeah, right now we're going with the Lightbringer, which is pretty much a... A new chapter in my collection, since I don't know anything about this robot. Well, I do know I saw pictures, but it was ones that were, like, better made. And of course, there's a bunch more, so I might buy... I might, because I don't know, they're, they're pretty pricey. I might buy more of this ones, because they're cool. And uh, well, a bit, a little bit of the, of the, of the uh, box. Yes, apparently there's four models, which here they're just CGI. They're not, they're not actually the robots. Even though you can see that actually they're. Yeah, actually here you can see the beast, like the arm piece, right here. It's like a Mars, of course Mars knockoffs. Um. But yeah, basically each one has a single special ability in his hand, like a jerking off hand. Nah, just kidding. It's uh, this one should have like a um, claw. This one should have, I think, like a spinning drill. This one, which is this one, has a spinning saw, and this one has like a shooting missile. I want the one with the missile though, even though I don't like it pink. But yeah, open the switch. Seriously, open. I thought it was turn the switch on. And yeah, you guys might be like, but doesn't have the weapon. It's true, he doesn't have the weapon. None of none of them had the weapon, which was kind of bad. But it would be cool if it actually had that kind of weapon. Like a, re a red sword with silver paint in it. Decent and cool, even though this one doesn't have it. And this one, none of, none of this ones have it now. So something tells me that this ones are generic robots. But, yeah, something tells me that this ones are made by the same brand of the Team Grant Runner that I have, the one, the blue robot that runs, simply because of the illustrations and all the, uh, the material of the box. But, anyways, believe it or not, the robot actually says electro- oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, that's, that's what happens if I leave the robots too close from each other. There's some bad stuff happening there. But, yeah. Uh, of course, they copied every single thing of the Mars from Happy Kid because of the uh, electronic walking robot with pulsing light up eye unit. That's exactly what Happy Kid's Mars say in the box. So here's the robot. No batteries, of course. Had to twist that from the back. And of course, the background of the box is pretty decent. I really don't know what to expect of, of this robot, because they tell me that some ones walk like shit, some others walk fine, so I'll have to put the batteries in. This one actually has more details, believe it or not, than the others. Okay, double A's? thought it was triple A's, okay. Okay, I bought triple A's. Without a single reason, might use them for a remote control or something. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay. There we go. I'll just leave this one like this so when I have to put it back in the box. Whoa. That's cool. Jeez. Huh, <laughs> crappy. You can hardly articulate this arm. Okay, this is the maximum point. Wait, do you Oh wow, the hand's actually rubber, as well as the originals. That's cool. Wait, is this a try me button? 
Oh, wow. Okay, he does have the Try Me button from the original Mars, but this one's kind of hidden. Okay, that's decent. I like it. I like it pretty much. Let's turn it on, shall we? Damn it. Okay, he walks like... Fine, I guess. Damn it. That's a bit better. He's walking like a bitch. Let's go. There's some trash here, sorry. Damn it. It's pretty cool. Let's see what happens if I put my screwdriver there. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Actually, I can fit weapons there. I'll see if my Mars Revo has it, because I it should have it or something. But yeah, um, a little bit more about the robot for anyone who wants to buy this robot. They have a logotype in the foot that I cannot discover what the fuck it is from because it's in Chinese, but it's all worth it. And of course this one has more details, has like this back, don't know what it is, but it's cool. Has some pecs here that might be like machine guns or something, I don't know. And of course, he does have that special arm. I like that. <laughs> but, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the entire review video or unboxing video of both robots. I really don't have much to say about those robots because most of them do the same. But I'm really happy that I finally have a fully functional Universal Fighter 4. And stay tuned because I might actually get more of this ones. Oh, by the simple fact that I want more of this ones. They're, they're kind of cool. And actually, I prefer Universal Fighter 4. But at the same time, the uh, Star... Not Star. Lightbringer is harder to find. So I might get both again. Just like... To have duplicates. So yeah, um, this has been Zonic Leader with uh, an unboxing video after the three year special. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video probably. With who knows what and when, no and who knows when. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.